thought overall, um, you know, we uh, I thought I thought played pretty good defense tonight. Um, thought we defended you know pretty well. Uh, thought the difference in the game was you know our turnovers. Um, we had far too many turnovers, and I think if you look at the amount of points they scored up our turnovers, that was a problem. Um, <clears throat> and then I thought we really struggled to shoot the basketball, in particular from behind the line. I thought we had some really good looks, just couldn't get anything to go down. But that's going to happen on a given night. Uh, but I thought at the end of the day, I thought our, our turnovers really, really hurt us. That was, I, I thought, the difference in the game. And we had a lot, of, obviously, uh, <clears throat> wasted possessions where we didn't even get a shot at the basket. And, and certainly, they were able to capitalize on, uh, on, on a lot of our turnovers. This isn't just a one-game thing. You know, it's been extended now for about a couple of weeks. How do you solve these turnover issues? Well, <clears throat> you know, we've, we've got to be uh, – you know, more careful with the basketball. We've got to be more fundamental with the basketball. We've got to make better decisions. Um, I think it comes from a, from, from a good place in terms of them trying to move the basketball. Um, but I also think some of them, you know, I think you're going to have some maybe some extra pass turnovers and things that I said this before, you know, it's a um, right intentions. Maybe it's not doesn't go as well. You know, it's a two on one fast break and throw a bounce pass guy bobbles it out of bounds. Like it's the right intention, but it's still a turnover. Those are going to happen. We got to clean up the ones where, you know, we're throwing the ball into traffic or we're making making plays that just aren't there. Well, I think you know we start the game really bad. We, we, we didn't have no energy out there. You know, we cannot uh, start start games like that. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, good team, bad team. You know, they, uh, we all played in NBA, so you know, of course, they're going to be good and they're going to make shots. So I think we start the game uh, a bit no energy. And then, you know, we try, try to get back, but, you know, they make some shots and we, we just, uh, we, we, we play good, I, I think, second half, but, you know, they just make sudden and I think they play good and win the game. Uh, why no energy at least? Spurs tomorrow night, underestimating the Timberwolves, why do you think it was Well, I think, uh, I have no idea, but I think we cannot, you know, it doesn't matter good team, bad team, like I said, we just have to start the game like we always does. You know, I think we need to start the game um, with energy. And we cannot worry about uh, who we're playing against. We, can, we need to worry about ourselves. It seems like starting the game with energy is more <clears throat> of a decision. What's it going to take for the team to make that decision night in? Night well, I think you know this team got it. Uh, I think only thing we can do is we just have to stick uh, together and just uh, for, forget about this loss. You know, it's, it's a tough loss. We, we, were, we were not expecting this loss, but I think most important thing right now just forget about this loss and just you know stop worrying about uh, tomorrow. Because this gonna, this guy, the, the score is gonna come too. So we have to just uh, just stick together and just you know, just be uh, be uh, good friends and just go out there to oh, play no. our basketball. When those turnovers are coming in waves like that, do you think that would be a good time for y'all to kind of slow the game down, dump the game, dump the ball into the post for you? Or uh, well, well, you know the coach making those decisions, but you know, of course, uh, of course, you know uh, when the turnovers start to come like that, you need to just slow the game down. But I think you know, last night I'm doing a really good job about that. But I think you know, uh, coach, the coach need to see that. And as you guys haven't played this Spurs team since the very beginning of the season, what's key in your mind tomorrow night? Well, of course, you know, they're, they're a physical team. Uh, drew everybody in the paint, kicked out for wide open three, and a uh, good play by them. How do you guys solve these turnover issues that seem to keep showing up game yeah. after game? Yeah, it's all on me. It's all my fault. You know, it's contagious. I'm the leader. You know, everybody expects me to be, you know, uh, on my game every night. So I take full responsibility for it. I got to be better. You know, I just overall, I got to be better at every part of the game. You know, I can't turn the ball over. I got to shoot better shots. I got to rebound better. Uh, I got to make the right play every time. Uh, I got to be better at encouraging my teammates. I got to be better at breathing life into my teammates, cheering for them. So I take full responsibility of it. It's my fault. Uh, you know, I wish I could take all of them back, man. I just got to watch film and see how I can be better. But uh, you know, I just, I just got to, I got to control uh, those turnovers because it's bleeding into the rest of the team. And I, you know, as a leader, I take uh, full responsibility. Was there an instance in the third quarter where you didn't want to come out of the game? It seemed like uh, maybe a maybe a quarter where you, you looked over to the side and you said, "No, come on, man." What was that about? Oh uh, yeah, I never want to come out the game, you know. But uh, that's what coaches for. <coughs> coaches, uh, he, he really he really doesn't care if I want to come out the game or not. He, he uh, you know, he's doing what's best for me and uh, as far as my workload. So, you know, I trust him. Uh, there's times where I'm gonna give him pushback. Obviously, it's just it's competitive side of me. I gotta be better at that as well. <laughs> and uh, just you know, trusting him and. Uh, Doing whatever he tells me to do, but I always want to play. He knows that, but I have to come out the game in order, you know, for me to be as fresh as I can be. So, um, you know, uh, I just wanted to play. In that instance, I think you actually stayed in, though. I mean, was that part of you trying to get your rhythm? 
Oh, I wouldn't say rhythm. I, I think we was in a good groove, and I just felt like we could have bust the game open. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's you know it happens like that. It's eight two game season. Will be times where I don't want to come out. It's gonna be times where I want to come out. So it's just a part of the game. I, I got to just trust the coach. I know you guys really try to say that you're focused on each and every night. You don't ever look ahead, but you have the Spurs waiting. Yeah. You're playing the 21 and 45 Wolves. There has to be some kind of human element there where you just kind of. Is there? No, I don't think so. They just, they just, they were better than us tonight. You know, there's no, no uh, way around it. We didn't look forward. You know, we didn't, you know, we didn't think about the next game. Uh, they were just better than us. We turned the ball over. Like I said, I got to be better. I had six of them with one assist. That's just terrible. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, they, they, we didn't look forward. They, we just didn't play well tonight. In the span of time you're on between now and the playoffs, is this correctable? Yeah, most definitely, for- most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. Like I said, just uh, just silly, just silly about me. I just gotta be better. All right, thanks, Kev.